This is Randy Thompson coming to you live. We have Trudy Adams and Miss Annie. And you can see she's all ready for winter. Got her winter coat on and stuff. And uh, Trudy, the last couple of weeks, we've started working on, now that Annie is to a different place in her training, we've been working on a stretch that encourages the horses to use their back. And we're going to show you part of that process today. Wish you could have gotten it from the beginning, but we didn't. And so we're going to show what we have today. Trudy, can you explain, can you share what has happened since you started doing this routine? The horses just seem more willing and I can feel them, you know, the back coming up, you know, so they're able to actually stretch their back, which I guess before I wasn't getting that complete stretch all the way through so this exercise is helping it and you know it, mentally they seem to to like it too you know it's not hard for them that's right now when you're when you're stretching what do you find changing in the horse like mentally what do you find happening it just they're they like it they like that's it all I can it's say like a release that, you know I, I don't you know they don't tell me that but, but I, you can feel it i can feel it and and i can feel it through their work, there's more push. Yeah, you feel that their strides changed, their whole movement yeah, changed, didn't it? It sure did. So what's happened is Annie's actually gone to a new level in the last couple of weeks, thanks to Trudy. So we're going to show you some of the steps that we do to get it. And it's not that we weren't doing stretches before. Right. It's just that now that the horse, like Annie, is in a different place mentally, we're asking for a stretch where she stays connected the whole time with her back up and coming through from behind. All right, can you show what it looks like from the standstill first? So you can see Trudy picks up her reins because the goal is to have an even feel on both sides of the rein, not a pulling thing, just an even feel. And she picks up the reins and Annie's response, as you can see, is to give. Now get her to stretch down more where she releases the top of her neck even more. And at first the horses will go behind the bit, then they'll raise their head, they'll do all that kind of stuff. But you can see, there, go, there she goes, beautiful. So you can see she's giving her whole neck and as a result, she's lifting her back even at the standstill. Very nice. Okay, let's go into the walk. Again, Trudy's just keeping an even feel on both reins. An even feel, not trying to do a headset or anything. She's asking Annie to step up into her connection as she stretches and lifts her back. What I've seen happen with Annie, because Annie was kind of, uh, I, you know, in, in dressage we have different terms and we call it a, she was in a green horse stage where she wasn't as connected as she is now. So by doing this, what we've done is we brought her to a new level of connection. There her head comes up and you'll see Trudy ask her to stretch and praises her. Good, good. See if she'll poke out her nose just a little bit more. So she, so she opens up her throat latch. Good. Nice connection with your reins, Trudy. Good girl. Now, how far down can you get her to stretch while keeping up in her neck? Keep the base of her neck thick. That's really nice how you've got her in her neck, by the way. Notice Annie's over-tracking at least 12 inches at this point. Again, this is a new movement for Annie, you know, tracking up at this level. But she's come a long ways. We've been working with her for about four years now. And she was uh, a little herd bound and had some resistances we had to work through, which is typical of almost any horse. Good, good. See if you can get her to open her throat latch now and do a circle asking her to stretch. Good. Yes, and you can feel when she raises her head, it's like she drops her back a little, right? That's good. So now you want to feel, can you keep her thick in the base of her neck? Good. Thicker in the base of her neck. Like right now, where can you feel her coming through her neck? Is she at closer to her ear or closer to your hands? Closer to her ears. What can you do to get her so she's closer to your hands? That's where her neck gets really thick, Annie's neck. That's it. Take your time. There's something out there. <laughs> yeah, the rest of the horses. There. What did you change? So adding the leg actually helps you to get her thicker in the base of her neck where she's lifting up her saddle, right? So this is the real connection where you're getting her to step up into your rein while she keeps her back up. Good. Do some circles and serpentines. Ask her to stretch more. Play a little with your, supple her with your inside rein and leg against the outside. Think a little bit of a leg yield asking her to stretch.
I'm filming as I'm coaching. That's the movement you see. Try tripods, doesn't work. Good, more forward with her back end. That's it, and you'll notice in the process, she's gonna raise her head, she's gonna drop her head. It's all part of the process. There's no good or bad about any of it. It is what it is. Good. That's it, take your time. And the hardest thing is just to stay, I find, is just to stay focused on keeping that stretch without getting involved in it. Because, you know, sometimes we get a little quick with ourselves. And it's not a quickness thing with our hands or our legs. It's a connection thing. That's it. Think leg yield. So she goes against your outside rein and leg. Stretch her with your inside rein by bringing her nose in just a little bit until she lets go in her neck. That's it, and then think leg yield. Push her against your out, gently against your outside rein and leg with your inside rein and leg. There, feel her starting to fill up the outside rein. Okay, now what we're gonna add to this today is, are your reins alive? When they're alive, you're going to feel her taking a connection with them. Now right now, how about your outside rein? Is it alive? That's it, and then you're gonna ask her to stretch through that. Now at first she's gonna say, what? Good, good. Does the rain feel alive? Good. Tell me when she starts losing the aliveness in the rain. Right there. Feel it? A little bit. Yep, it's going to be just a little bit, and your goal will be to catch it before it becomes a lot. Good luck on that, by the way, because she's going to fall in and out of that live rain for a while now. Good. Now you feel the liveness? That's when she's coming through. So that's the only thing we're going to add to what you're doing at the stretches now. And she's going to do that, that disconnect thing a lot at first. She's not being bad. She's actually being pretty good. It's a big shift for a horse to connect like this from the rider seat and legs up into the rain. And we actually started the process in January of last year, so you can see where we are right now. Before that, we didn't have, uh, Trudy wasn't asking Annie to do anything other than to do what she did on a loose contact. Very good. That's it. Now, how about your inside rein? So we're going to add the inside rein to that too and see is she alive on the inside rein. And you might notice that she'll go from one rein to another. Do you feel that? That's when you use your leg to keep her alive. Because it's your leg asking her to step up into the rein that's going to give you that feeling that the reins are alive. The reins will feel alive when the horse is stepping up into them. That's it. Yep, bigger stretch. There she goes. Good, keeping the reins alive. That's going to be the new thing. Yep, and you'll feel she'll go about two steps and then she'll drop it, right? Which is exactly where she should be right now. Good. What does this make you do? A lot of um, adjusting. A lot of adjusting, that's right. And you know like Klemka was adjusting his position every three strides, right? Now you know why. Klemka was a world champion dressage rider. That's it. There. That's right. You felt it. And what I like best is you didn't correct her with your rein. You asked her to step up into the stretch. Good. Now you're going to start asking her do 10 steps a regular walk and then do at least 10 steps of a stretchy walk where she's picking up her back and staying connected. Lots of praise. Good, feel her letting go. Keep the rein alive though. So remember the stretch, the correct stretch is when she stays alive on the rein. Good. That's it. See how low you can get her to drop her pole, get her nose out a little bit trying to keep that rein alive. It's a tricky place there. Good. Bring your right leg forward. That's it. And then 10 steps, regular walk, picking her head up a little bit and asking her to do mini stretches with the same live rein. And she, yeah, that's exactly what she'll do at first. She's a little bit surprised you did that. That's it.
Good. So what are you feeling different with the rain now? No matter where you are, that's right. Okay, now give her a walk break. Just do a walk break on a long rain and let her walk around and just cool out her mind and stuff. That was nice, Trudy. Again, this is Randy Thompson coming to you live. You can see more videos of the progress of Trudy and Annie by going to the YouTube channel, Randy Thompson Live, where we've got videos arranged by topics, horses, and riders. We're going to continue at the trot in part two.